Hey y'all, Stacy here. How you doing? Um, I've been sick and I got up earlier when I had this spurt of energy and mixed up these colors and uh, then I got back to feeling sick and uh, went back to bed. But I knew I better go ahead and pour this tonight because the other night I did this and left them sitting for a couple of hours and they got coagulated real bad and I think it's because this flow trawl's not good. I left the uh, cap a jar on it and uh, it's kind of nasty. So um, I'm gonna pour this one. These are colors a friend of mine picked out. They're fairly, well they are very bold and uh, so, I'm going to pour them now. Black. And I'm going to swap with blue. I hope I have enough paint. Uh, pushing it this time. I think, and it is fairly thick because it's been sitting for a uh, um, couple of hours, but I went in there, laid back down, and fell asleep, and I'm not worried about these little gaps in the middle. I hope it just kind of, it'll uh, cover, you know, that works to an extent um, when you don't have quite enough paint. I need like one more color mixed up, but hopefully it'll, it'll swoop it in and it'll be okay. Not my best work, maybe, but... Uh, you never know. I'm not feeling up to par. I probably shouldn't have even bothered trying, but uh, I had that spurt of energy and, you know, felt like it would make me feel better. Because it always does. This will be okay. It'll be alright. Alright. It will cover. It will be fine. Alright, I'm gonna swipe with my, my parchment paper, which is my favorite swiping tool for regular swipes. Um, it does not work as well for Shelly Art or uh, resin. I'll tell you that ahead of time so you don't make the mistakes that I've made with it. The parchment paper is just not, um, look at that, it's covering just fine. It's just not thick enough for that. Um, that stuff is too thick and um, it doesn't work. We'll cover that in. I'll give it a quick torch and I'll give it a better torch in just a minute. But right now I want to get these areas kind of filled in, covered. I 
blue, swap it with that blue uh, and the black, the boldness of it. It's kind of cool. Um, I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I'm actually kind of liking that a lot. It's very different. patches that don't want to cover it looks like over there. Maybe not. Maybe that's just a cell. Uh, I like this. It's interesting. Actually, this looks just like the person I'm making it for, like something he would choose. So, I'm happy about that. Okay. I'll wipe my hands real quick. We'll give it a good torch and see what it does. You know, I'm hoping I'll see this friend of mine maybe tomorrow and or the next day. Um, maybe late tomorrow and I'll have time to resin it. Uh, mine dry pretty fast. I can usually um do one and let it dry overnight and resin it the next day you know or um, at least within a couple of days um, you know I don't have a big problem with things drying um, you know without taking a long time um, it's really kind of cool I, I like it I'm glad I went ahead and poured it because it most surely would have gummed up like that other did. I only let it sit, let the paint sit for a couple of hours and it was just gloppy, full of huge, big boogers. A disgusting, horrible mess. And um, I think that's the one thing about this Floetrol once it's contaminated like that. Look at those pretty little green cells down there. How cool. Um, that's one thing that does tend to happen to it is that it doesn't sit well after that. It's gonna, it's gonna coagulate real bad. Other than that, I haven't had any untoward effects. I mean, it still makes cells, you know, it still works for what we use it for. So I couldn't see throwing it out or anything. Um, you just got to know that once you pour it, you better be ready to use it pretty quick or else it's going to turn into a disgusting mess. All right, let me let y'all see up close. I'm not going to download these videos. I've got several that I've done that I keep forgetting to download for y'all. Okay, I'm not going to let you see me look like absolute hammered shit today. Uh, I did take a shower. Uh, I got some kind of a bad cold and... Um, I was running fever and I mean real COVID like symptoms at first and it was freaking me out and my mother of course being a nurse too she's always totally hypochondriac hysterical oh my god you gotta go and test it oh my god you got it and no I'm not coming over there you're sick and anyway I, it, I'm already better I was running fever one night and having chills and stuff but then after that it it's gotten much better, so. That's a really cool area down there. I like that, awesome. Look at that, pretty cool. And this over here is interesting too. 
Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate y'all being here just like always. I mean, it's always a treat to have company. And um, I'll get these downloaded so y'all can see them. And if you feel like it, stop by and say hi and leave me a message. I love to hear from y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night. Take it easy. Take care. Don't get this cold I got. It's bad shit. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time.